B2B Cambodia, the portal for business news in Cambodia. So more broadly speaking, um, in terms of the activities that Obor is involved with, who are some of the stakeholders that you primarily work with? Is it primarily like with private sector stakeholders or do you also work with the public sector? So initially we were doing our own investments. So um, I would say only private investors and we were going through our own underwriting, due diligence, uh, selecting our own projects and providing the support. But now that the ecosystem is growing a little bit, we're trying to really leverage on the other actors uh, in the market. Uh, for example, Khmer Enterprise, which is a, an organization at the uh, Ministry of Economy and Finance. They are, the, they, they are trying to build that ecosystem. So we're working with them to help the investment on the investment readiness of the, the, the projects, the SMEs in Cambodia. Mm -hmm. And we're trying to help as well um, preparing the market, preparing potential local investors to, to, uh, to know what is needed to make investments uh, in, in Cambodia. And lastly, I would say what I really want to push uh, um, probably this year um, in, in that whole in that whole ecosystem, what's, what's missing is the equity piece for the mm. local Cambodian companies. Back in 2019, Obor did receive uh, the approval from the SCRC to be one of the first regulated fund managers here in Cambodia. Um, so in that regard, when do you plan to launch the first fund? And uh, what are some of the challenges in kind of launching funds like this here? So the reason why we've done, we, we haven't done it before is that uh, the regulation to to be able to do it was not was not there mm -hmm. so uh, we needed a, a, a prakas we had the license uh, process uh, but we didn't have the uh, the uh, the regulatory regime for the what we call the collective investment scheme the fund mm. this was just released so now is the moment um, and i would say the challenges that remain and I was touching upon this a bit before, is the size of that fund. If you have a uh, you know, $10 million fund that's very small, as a fund manager, it's, it's hard to, to uh, survive. Um, but at the same time, this is appropriate for Cambodia because mm -hmm. $10 million, maybe you're going to invest you know, uh, between 500000 up to a million in, in several companies, maybe 10 of them, 15 of them. That's appropriate. But if you have a hundred million, which we would much prefer, of course, mm -hmm. you're not going to manage a hundred participation of one million. And there are not many companies that can welcome an investment of 10. Mm -hmm. So this is the issue in the market right now. In any case, we want to start. So uh, we want to start with SMEs. So even with a smaller fund, uh, we're moving forward because we've done it in the past. I think we're one of the only investor in Cambodia that went through the setup, investment, uh, development, and exit of a company. So in terms of the broader ecosystem and different stakeholders, what strategies or solutions do you think can be implemented uh, to kind of better accommodate the needs of SMEs, startups, um, new enterprises? I think the, the work that Khmer Enterprise is doing is, is great. It's really what's needed, building the ecosystem, putting together uh, missing pieces. The SME bank is uh, is now there for the for the, the debt part uh, that is needed. Uh, we're seeing you know business context, investment readiness uh, project. We're seeing uh, uh, grants that are provided to help companies to raise funds. So mm -hmm. all this goes in the uh, in the right direction. Um, there's more and more blended finance uh, instruments that are being used in the region, but it starts also in Cambodia. And basically those are public uh, actors or foundations or, or NGOs that will incentivize the private sector to come in by de-risking their investment, for example, or by providing some guarantees. What strategies do you think can be implemented to attract more foreign investment here and maybe also facilitate some of the larger ticket size uh, investments? Well, definitely the, the deepening of the capital markets is important. Um, we have some investors already looking at Cambodia, but to be totally transparent, mm -hmm. institutional investors are not looking at Cambodia. It's not on their radar because of the size of the investments. 
because of the, uh, the usually the poor governance or uh, so that's what we need to improve. We need mm -hmm. to market Cambodia better, uh, change some of the very old ideas we discussed uh, a bit before that are not true anymore. Um, we need to incentivize them to come, and that's being done by the government uh, the, with the investment law and the inv incentives that we, uh, we see. But uh, beyond that, um, we need to encourage you know, transparency, governance, so that, and, and the capital markets helps that, mm -hmm. um, so that those investors can, can look at it. Okay, well, for my very last question, what advice would you give to investors that are looking to enter the Cambodian market? First, I would tell them to come because um, many of those investors are really uh, not taking the time. I mean, we have, if you think about it, from the 90s, we had an incredible growth. Um, we're probably one of the fastest growing country in the world. Um, great success, we're coming from far, but there is no doubt on where we're going. There, there might be some ups and downs uh, in the process, but you cannot be wrong on where this country is going or will be in, in 10 years from now. So definitely in, in a world where you don't see growth everywhere, I think that's, uh, that's important. And uh, work with the right people. Definitely take the time to understand the country, meet the people, work with the right people. Uh, I think that's important. Okay, well, thank you so much for your time today. It was a pleasure Thanks speaking you. with you. You've been with B2B Cambodia. Thanks for watching. Join us next time as we continue to bring you more news, updates, and developments from the business community in the Kingdom of Cambodia.